In video, you'll only see right here on ABC6 tense moments after a police chase ends with a 17-year-old getting tased. Police say the teenager had a gun on him at Centennial High School. When officers arrived and tried to confront him, he took off. Police ran after the teen who was accused of bringing two semi-automatic weapons onto school grounds. He was caught after a tip from a neighbor. They sent the dog in. He tried to get up over the fence. The dog hit him by a pant leg. Uh, he was still struggling. The officer uh, discharged the taser. Officers say that teenager hit his head on the fence but was not seriously hurt. Police say the guns he had were not loaded, but he did have ammunition ready. He'll likely be charged with two felony counts of carrying a concealed weapon. Right now, police are investigating a crash that injured two people near the OSU campus. Good Day Columbus reporter Michelle Newell is live there where it all happened. Michelle? New this morning, police on the OSU campus are investigating an early morning kidnapping. And the suspected kidnapper is a convicted rapist who was just released from prison. They say someone was kidnapped outside Postal Hall. That's the College of Dentistry. That was right around 645 Thursday morning, so just before sunrise is when this happened. Police aren't releasing too many details at this time. They say the kidnapper did rob his victim. 32-year-old Wayne Miller is now behind bars. This is his mugshot from 2007. He was convicted of rape and kidnapping up in Lorain County. According to records, he was just released from prison 11 days ago.